Okay, well, I know our, uh, our audience wants to hear about this guitar. Well, this guitar has got some history. Um, actually, there's a new pickup on it uh, today because um, I have the original Tim Shaw pickups on, on this one. Sure, because it was 1980, correct? Yeah, it's an original 1980 that I bought new. I sold two guitars and a, and a motorcycle uh, <laughs> to, uh, in order to uh, afford that, this guitar. And this is prior to Whitesnake, right? Yes, this was yeah. 1980. Yeah. It actually, so, um, on the pickup, we took it off today because the, the one that's on there was squealing like, like, like a pig, you know, and it was <laughs> really shitty because um, w whenever I moved into um, a solo and I got too close to the wedges or anywhere, basically, yeah. and I'm like, Wee! And I, oh shit, and then you, you go, where, where do I start with a thing, you know? I couldn't avoid it. So right. uh, yesterday we were at the Gibson uh, shop and I picked up um, another pickup. And as you can tell, it looks brand new, but um, the original Tim Shaw's are not potted. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, Plus, uh, today, um, um, Willem found out that um, the pickup that was on there um, also came loose. The soldering came oh. loose. That may have been the cause, but, sure. uh, but we didn't take any more chances. It drove me nuts, and it drove our sound uh, front of house mixer, Raymond, nuts too, because people usually blame them. You know, yeah, go, right, right. Yeah, stop the squealing, you right. idiot, you know, but <laughs> it came from me. So, um, <laughs> so yesterday, uh, yeah, yesterday uh, we went to the Gibson uh, custom shop. And, um, and and Tom was there, you know the yeah Tom Murphy. Yeah, I bet he liked seeing this. He guitar. was he was quite blown blown away. And what was really interesting is uh, those guy, those guys they go to great length to to make a, a relicking to to relic a guitar in the proper way, not like just throw a bunch of keys here and there and sure. drag it around the village uh, for yeah. uh, for a couple of miles yeah. behind a car or something. <laughs> so. As they do in the Middle East, with uh, sometimes apparently yeah. not, with <laughs> not with guitars though. But um, so um, he was really amazed by these little scratches over here, right? Uh, because he did not see that before on another guitar. And then um, on the way back uh, from the, the custom shop, I thought, what am I doing different than, than anybody else? I mean, I know what I do different, but I would, I would be inclined to think that everybody kind of hits the strings at the same time. Then I realized um, that I use more up upstrokes than other people do, oh. I suppose, but I never thought about it because I don't really think about what I do. That goes for my whole life, actually. Sure. I just do something, <laughs> create a big mess, and, <laughs> and try to clear the mess <laughs> afterwards. And that's my playing, too. So um, they were pretty uh, impressed by this little um, Scratchy thing over there, and you know the back looks pretty ragged. Sure, it's been around, but um, well, and I remember when that guitar was much darker burst, and it had a lot more red oh yeah. in it, right? Th this was a tobacco burst. <laughs> wow, it was really dark when I bought it, and on the older Vandenberg uh, shots, uh, every once in a while somebody sends me a shot that they took when we were supporting Kiss or Ozzy or something <laughs> in '83 and '84, right? Um, when we were still young and handsome, and I. <laughs> Now we're just handsome, you know. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, and um, I was actually amazed when I see one of those pictures how dark it was. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and this is, it's, they, I think they call it a honey burst right now. Right. I call it my guitar. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah you're, you're number yeah. one. Well, that's and, yeah, it's rel relic by my own uh, sweat, blood, and tears, you know. And sure. That's, um, that's the way to relic. You can tell by the neck, you know, it's um, it's all gone basically. Beautiful. It survived some um, some um, serious abuse. Oh, so any catastrophes, any neck breaks or anything like that, or has it survived nothing that drastic? Uh, no, no, no. It's uh, because I always make sure I, I have it with me. And sure. um, the first thing uh, my trusty tech Willem um, does uh, right after the gig, he just wraps it up and takes it to my dressing room right, or right. to the bus or wherever we are. So this yeah. will be the first gig on the new pickup. Yes. The first the yeah. new the yeah. first change in 44 years. Yeah, it is wow. a, a, and I really have to fill around with the tone uh, because um, the original Tim Shaw sounded a little more rounded. Of course, first of all, the pickup is 40 years old. Yeah. I'm not even 40. You know, yeah, so right. <laughs> I can imagine what the pickup must have gone through. But um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so um, we fiddled around with the tone, just mellowed it out a little bit more. Yeah. Do you do you know which Gibson pickup they? they yeah, this is a, a regular burst bucker. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Nothing. 
that nobody can get, you know, the rest. Sure. Well, what makes it the different? Bushwalkers are great. Yeah, yeah, they're great. You know, yeah. they're, I think they're very under, under undervalued because people automatically assume there's so many great pickups. Duncan pickups, great. Everybody knows it. You sure. know, but um, just like me, when um, when I bought a, a guitar at the time, I couldn't afford buying another pickup yeah. because the guitar was basically <laughs> all my money. You know, sure. Um, it's good but investment. What a lot of people do is um, they automatically change the pickups when they whenever they get a guitar. Yeah. And with Gibson guitars especially, people go, okay, I'll put a Duncan on it or whatever. Yeah. But Gibson is not, not stupid, you know, so the, I think their pickups are great too. You know? Yeah, oh yeah, they're, yeah. they're great. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm interested how you feel about this one after that change, after having that kind of microphonic. Yeah, it's going to be a lot more relaxed on stage because yeah. it was going, driving me crazy. <laughs> I was walking, you know, looking for a place. Yeah. I, I felt like a homeless person, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was. But then. Um, yeah, the interesting thing is I recorded um, every record, uh, record I've ever made since 1980. This guitar is on it, plus one or two other guitars. Yeah.